Hello, welcome to the Wednesday shave, the midweek shave. How are you doing? I hope you're in good health in this uh, virus infested world. Um, and uh, eat plenty of garlic and stuff like that, and plenty of water. I think that'll <laughs> have plenty of alcohol as well. So, I hope you're keeping fit and well and having good shaves during this um, madness at the minute. So, we're using a couple of new products in this, like I said in my last shave. Uh, Global Shave Club um, GSC for short uh, sent a razor and only yesterday they sent a soap separately that arrived so I'm going to use the two together it's their new Storm two piece non adjustable razor and this a few people you may say oh, I've seen that razor before it's the handle you've seen before I think it's the the was it the rain and the thunder I think it shares the same handle as this um, they're made of solid noble brass quite a weight to them and uh, I think it's double chrome plated on top so it's a good weight it's a twist well not a twist to open it is a twist to open and it's not a twist to open twist the bottom uh, open like that oh that was quick and that's what it looks like um, it comes with a obligatory cloth, cleaning cloth, and um, I'm going to use one of these, a Derby Premium blade, brand new, because um, on their site it comes with some recommended blades. They recommend this wasn't one of them, but I'm gonna I'm gonna use this in this and see how it goes. Now it seems to be uh, based. In similarity to the Merca 34C uh, in aggression and stuff like that. Um, just put this together, see how it goes. But knowing Global Shave Club, I wouldn't mind betting it's going to be slightly more aggressive. It'll always have a bite to it. Slightly more than... Yeah, so there's an overhand there. Feels nice. Weight shuts, so we'll see how it goes. Now the soap, I like this packaging. It comes, uh, it's a Bay Rum Luxury Shave Soap. Now what, for me, when I think of, I don't know what you think, Bay Rum always seems clovey, especially aftershaves for me, a clovey scent. This isn't, it's a beautiful, Gorgeous scent. So if you don't like, if you if bay rum puts you off, because you think oh clove, I don't like clove. I think you'd like this because it's it's a gorgeous scent. It's sort of a classic old school scent, barber shoppy scent. Uh, there might be a hint, but it's lovely. Bay rum, very nice. So small puck. I'm going to use nature's lather bowl. Nature's lather bowl. My hand. It's a bit messy because it's a, I can tell it's a very slick soap. I'm going to use my hand for lathering. Brush, we'll pick the brush. Um, I think I'll use my own. Paul H, you'll see how that lathers on this puck here. Synthetic knot. Um, so we'll wet the face and we'll get going. So there we go. Middle of the week already. Okay, I'll just uh, wet the wet the brush up, and then we'll lather it up. See how it does. So here we go, and I'll go straight to it. <laughs> the reason I'm doing this is because my father. <laughs> Again, used to get soap, hand soap this was he used, in a shield, imperial leather, if we were posh or had enough money to buy it, um, or just basic soap, a lot of times, but he used palm olive obviously, but uh, he did at times, and he used to lather it like that, and it's, it's good, because you can control the puck, especially the smaller ones, but I do like using a bowl, I must admit. 
So I'm going to go with that and then put that down. We're not going to waste this because we'll. Uh... Wow, that's impressive. Not even put the brush to it, yeah? <laughs> you don't need this. <laughs> so it's like a pre shave shave soap. Very nice, right. I'm gonna rinse the hands. Gorgeous scent. Yes, yeah, not a it's a classic, I'd say old school barber shop scent. Really nice. I'm gonna to touch of water to the brush. Wow, it's like somebody's opened the washing machine door. That is nice. So, the razor's been, as all my razors are, viruses or not, I was cleaned in antibacterial soap. Um, and this is no exception. So we'll heat it up. We've got the blade in, so we're using the Derby Premium, brand new. That's nice and hot now. And here we go. Storm two-piece razor. So just as I thought, even with that Derby, but it's a nice blade there. Merca 34C, if you've got one, you've used one, it's slightly more aggressive. Just out of a, has a bit more of a bite to it. Very nice. Very slick soap. Again, not a strong scent, but it's there. It's nice. So it must be venturing out into doing razors and soaps. This, um, it doesn't stay to us. There's the ingredients there of uh, what's in the soap, but it doesn't state if uh, Global Shave Club make it. It does say it's handmade, but uh, I'm not sure where it's handmade, if if they, you know, have a, an artisan make it for them or they make it themselves, I don't know. Um, but wherever it's made, it's uh, doing the job. Heavyweight. Obviously a much longer handle than the 34C. What's the longer version of the 34? Is that 37? Well, I don't have that razor anyway, so. But a very comfortable, very comfortable shave. Holds together nicely. So no issues so far. And it comes um comes with a lifetime guarantee. You don't don't need that much these days, do you? Okay. So back to it, not gonna add water. Obviously, you've seen how long I lathered that very quickly. And that seemed a bit too much, maybe, but... Uh, wow. Good brush as well, you see. 
Mrs H says um, hello to everybody and thank you for all the comments about the flowers in, in the shaves and for your contributions on the wet heads Paul's wet heads Facebook group so um, I don't know if Alice is going to make an appearance today we'll see across the growth now storm two kicking up a storm very apt razor to use actually in this country with the weather we've just had storms and rains and floods and When you think it's not been a, it's not been that good of a start to the year really, um, with these storms, people being flooded and um, damage and stuff like that, and and now this uh, virus thing's kicked up. Wow, you get good audio feedback. Doesn't feel. As I say, the 34C is a standard aggression for me, sort of a mid aggression, mild to mid. Um, this is just above, so I'd say this is a mid aggression, which I think is what the aim was. So for me it is, with this blade. Um, as they say, your mileage may vary dependent on your beard growth. If it's thick, coarse, wispy, thin, what blade you use. And what soap you use, really. Wow, really nice, very close. Good slickness. Protection, glide. Yeah, I really like the scent of that. So whoever's making that soap, Sheldon, if it's you, if it's someone in the business, if... good job. Does exactly what it says on the tin. Not gonna go back to the puck again, just stay with this. Obviously, if you like a wetter lather, you'd add more water. I like going against uh, lately like this because it goes, well, especially on the first part, and the second, it goes against those whiskers and gets some soap underneath. Really nice. I'm staying rather clean today. It's a bit, <laughs> it's a bit scary. Something's got to go wrong then. Third pass against the growth. Derby Premium, nice blade. So how's your weekend been? Or your week, your start of the week I should say. Because I haven't seen you since Sunday. Pheasant was lovely. Roasted. Bit of smoky bacon on it. My next couple of shaves I'm quite excited about because uh, I'm going to be using a classic um, soap and aftershave in probably Sunday and then on its way to me I managed to find some old shave sticks, uh, sorry new old stock Ship, I've caught there. So I'm excited about that. Wow. 
Yeah, so that'll be one will be Sunday and the other will be on probably the f week today. Yeah. So a couple of old school shaves, which are. Uh, But I'm pleased about the old, um, new old stock one, which means that they're new, never been used, but they're very old stock, obviously. Oh, and, um, no, I caught this again here. I was watching Geo Fat Boy's video, he's done a blindfold shave and do not do this at home title and because I commented on it, people, you gotta do it now, you gotta <laughs> start a tag video. Well I'm not gonna start a tag video, but I may give it a go in one of the shaves at some point, but uh, not for a few shaves yet because I got some stuff to use and I wanna see what I'm doing. Okay, three, two, one. Pick up time, baby! And Nick time. So firstly, lathering in the hand like that. Nature's uh, <laughs> lather bowl, and it can adjust to any size puck. <laughs> um, I was talking with my brother, sorry to go on like this, but I was talking with my brother about uh, his shaving habits and stuff like that, and his, you know, how he used to be in the bathroom and because it was he 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 was the one that said do you remember he used to just hold the soap and I, <laughs> right <laughs> yeah it's good just hold the soap in his hands but like i say his shaves no poncing about here with witch hazel and aftershaves and creams and all this and it was just in shave papers rizzler scream all spice out that was normal for him and it's normal for me <laughs> you're quite right We're going to go off the slickness now. Very nice. That'll do. We'll chant cold water. And that's cold. That's why I brought the reddish or burgundy, whatever, towel. Hide the blood. And I thought I'll use the Thayer's Medicated <laughs> Super Hazel. Uh, this is very clovey. Yeah, very nice. I like it. Bay rum has to be pin out Clubman's Bay rum, uh, Virgin Island Bay rum. I bottled this and took the label off the original plastic bottle in case you're thinking, oh, I've never seen that. 
Go on, have a sniff through that. Nice. Classic old school. Slight tink, well I would be tingle there. <laughs> He'd like that. That's that. Hmm. Might have to stick dick that after. And then Bay Rum. There's the only sort of aftershave balm I've got in Bay Rum, which is Captain's Choice Shave Balm. Um, looking on the thing there. So we'll go. Where's the. We'll go with. Oh, go with three. Oh, yeah. You can call this a classic old school scented shave. And I'll leave you go in a minute. I'll do this after a couple of nicks there. So we've used GSC Global Shade Club's Storm two-piece non-adjustable razor. Uh, heavyweight, there's good knurling, sort of a squarish knurling. Uh, twist the bottom here to open or to release the top cap. And I've used a Derby Premium Blade, brand new, really nice. Very nice. It is what it states. Um, it's made of noble brass, solid brass and double chrome plated. Uh, lifetime guarantee. Um, worked. Nothing bad to say. Really nice. Good blade choice for me that. You wouldn't think so. but Very close. Um, and very smooth. It's slightly more aggressive than the 34C if you own one of them. So uh, really nice longer handle obviously. So uh, that's that. The, the soap, Bay Rum Luxury Shave Soap. That's very well named. I like the packaging of this. Um, just the soap and the box. As simple as that. I like that. Um, ingredients. Doesn't state where it's made um, or by who, but uh, really nice. Easy to lather. Um, good slickness. Gorgeous scent. Old school scent. And um, really nice. Did the job. Very smooth. Um, we used Paul H Films brush, synthetic knot with a citrine handle and the black top, top cap there. Um, rinsed with cold water, then we had the medicated Super Hazel by Thayer's. Then we've had Pinout Clubman's Virgin Island Bay Rum Aftershave, beautiful stuff. And Captain's Choice Bay Rum Shave Balm. And I'm going to stick tick these now, so uh, I can find it, and I'll do that off camera. So, many thanks, uh, Sheldon, and many thanks to you for watching. I'll put what I can in the description of the video, to most things I can. And um, that's it, so don't forget, Sunday, I've got a, a classic, an old classic aftershave and soap. And the following Wednesday, I've got um, a good find I've bought which i think is a good find i'm chuffed a bit so uh, have a great rest of the week stay safe <laughs> and uh, have some great shaves and i'll see you on sunday for the weekend shave take care